Hi, so sometimes you're making an application and you need some data. Now, it's often hard to find this data in the format that you want it to be in. So, often what you have to do is go to a website such as this Wikipedia page and take the data from the page and put it into the format you need. So, in this case, we need a mapping of these codes uh, for different states to the name of the state because for some reason we need this in our application but obviously this table is not the format we want so in order to do this we're going to use the developer tools and our knowledge of javascript and the dom to get this data out so we first start by inspecting uh, some piece of data that we're interested in so i'm just going to inspect element and we get this and we can see that this is a table organized into rows and we can start mining this data out of here. So the first thing we're going to do is find the first field we're interested in and just say first equals dollar sign zero. Now what dollar sign zero is is the last element you've selected in the elements panel. So I'm just going to bring this down and then we want to go down and find the last element we're interested in. So in this case it'll be the Wyoming row and last is dollar sign zero. And then we just check that uh, that's the right one. Now we need to get this into an array so we can more easily work with it, all of the elements in between. So we're just going to say uh, rows equals that and L equals that. Um, but before we do that, we're just going to grab the next row and say end equals that or N close enough. Okay. Um, so the element is going to be first, and then we're going to just use a simple while loop. While element is not equal to that end thing, rows.push element, and then element equals uh, next element sibling. L dot next element sibling. And then we run this after fixing syntax errors. Okay, and then if we check rows, we have 51 items in it, which is because there's the District of Columbia, which we will just quickly remove. Well, we'll remove it later, it doesn't matter right now. Okay. So now that we have those, we need to figure out how we're getting these strings out of here. So let's see what happens if we take rows 0, and we're just going to store that in element for easier working. Say l.text content. Uh, not exactly what we were expecting. Rows 0, which is the table row. Ah, and it's because it has all of these things in it. So we're going to say rows 0.children0.text content. And that gives us what we're looking for. Now what if we did 0, 1, 2, 3, children 3 to text content, and that gives us the code we're looking for. So now that we have these uh, patterns for how to get our data out of it, we're going to uh, first create our object, because this is the final format we want it in, and this is just going to be a simple object. Now we're going to say rows.foreach. And in here, we will do uh, this is the value, so we're going to say row. And we want to set that to the key defined as this short code here. So we're going to put that in our key. And if everything runs correctly, we should then have an object which is not doing this. And that's because what we want to do is just say row. And now our object has this nice mapping. Now the problem is we can't really easy co easily copy things out of the console. So instead what we'll do is inspect an element on our page and then right click and edit as HTML. We'll replace this with a text area. And then because this is in our, uh, that didn't work quite as we wanted. 
So we're going to edit this and replace this whole thing with a text area. Great, now we have a text area, we've selected it, so now it's going to be the dollar sign zero, and we can say dollar sign zero dot text content is json dot stringify, and we will pass in our object, null and four. These last two arguments go into how it's formatted, and we get a nice four spaced json list of all of our data, which we can then put into our JavaScript, and JS print uh, states WA. And now we have some usable data format. Don't forget to attribute to Wikipedia if you have used them, and I will see you in the next video.